You can't get a better sunrise than that. A good looking Thursday morning in the city of Toronto. This is Breakfast Television. Good to see you. My name is Sid Sixero. 25 years in the NHL, six Stanley Cups, the only player to have captained two NHL franchises to championships. Hockey Hall of Famer Mark Messier, Moose, the Messiah, however you refer to him. <laughs> now ESPN analyst down in Bristol, Connecticut, where he's joining us. He's got a new memoir. It is out available now called No One Wins Alone. There were nights I saw this next guest win alone. We won't get into the specifics, but he did put a team on his back <laughs> once in a while. Six-time Stanley Cup winner Mark Messier is on the show. Mark, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sid. How are you, um, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Is it weird writing a book about you and then talking about you so much? I would never get tired of it, but do you get tired of it? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a good media blitz over the last few days. Uh, the book itself was incredibly difficult to, to write, as I had been told uh, leading up to it. But I found an amazing guy in Jimmy Roberts, who uh, it was an honor to sit beside him for hundreds, if not thousands of hours over the last couple of years and, uh, and uh, have the trust that he could articulate the thoughts that I wanted to speak about and my experiences uh, over uh, 26 years of pro and of course going back to my family and where it all started so it was, it was a it was an amazing journey mark I, I always have found it to be an odd question to you and you always handle it well but when people ask you what what's it like to be a great leader like there's so many there's so many things that go into that when what age did you know you had influence what age did you know whether on the ice or in the room did you know, okay, uh, people hear my voice? Uh, good question. You know, I, I was a beneficiary of my father who had played hockey for obviously at the pro level, uh, was a uh, master's edu in education, taught children, saw him coach junior hockey players and galvanize a team. And most importantly, make sure that those uh, kids believed in themselves and gave them the confidence to believe in themselves. And uh, I think the first time that I was in that position, um, you know, I became captain at 16 years old in my junior team. Uh, I had some 20 year, 20 uh, kids or kids in the team that were 20 years old. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just had followed my dad's footsteps in a lot of ways, the way he treated people and the way he tried to bring the team together and spoke to the team and individuals. And, of course, when I turned pro, I had so many great leaders before me. Ron Chipperfield, Lee Fogle, and Al Hamilton were, were veterans in the Oilers back in the late 70s, 9, 80. And of course, Wayne stepping in from Lee Foglin. And then so you just pick up lessons along the way until you're put in that position yourself. And of course, you have to get your own style of leadership. But uh, uh, it was a it was an interesting uh, self-awareness journey for me. No doubt. Mark, who is I mean, we've heard enough people say Mark Messier is the best leader I had in the dressing room, period. Who did you think the best leader was that you played with? Who was someone you played with? I mean, my, my first instinct would be Wayne, but maybe there's another name. Who is there another name? Well, Wayne, Wayne was an incredible leader, uh, taken over from Lee Fogland on our way to our first championship in 1983. But Wayne, Wayne was a guy that uh, he didn't speak a lot, but when he spoke, uh, he, <laughs> he was EF Hutton. Everybody listened. Uh, but he led by example. He treated people incredibly well. He, uh, he uh, galvanized the team by inclusion. Uh, he made everybody feel important. Um, you know, Kevin Lowe. Look at the leaders in the team that uh, you could go down on the great oiler teams. Uh, yeah, no, if the book is called No One Wins Alone. I can tell you that nobody leads alone. Uh, mm -hmm. I was fortunate to have great leaders around me and uh, great character people that uh, that uh, really could, uh, you know, could continue to deliver the message. Uh, the big thing about leadership is you want to have unified message uh, throughout the team, throughout the lineup. And I always go back to the one quote by Abe Lincoln who said, No man can govern another without his consent. All that means really is that in order to get the permission to lead anybody you have to earn their trust so uh, that was a that was a big uh, big quote that I followed uh, throughout my career mark last question you six Stanley Cups that speaks for itself which one was the most special that's a question that's probably I get asked the most uh, which which special um, you know as a kid growing up in Canada we in Edmonton uh, we could not believe we had an NHL team uh, in Canada, uh, in Edmonton. It was amazing. You know, the original six teams, Edmonton, Montreal, the aunts and uncles that were huge uh, Montreal fans, Toronto fans. And here uh, in 1979, uh, the NHL awards Edmonton, Alberta, <laughs> we did an NHL franchise. It was surreal. We couldn't believe it. And then as a hometown guy, I found myself playing on it, not only playing on it, but making the team and then turning into and playing on one of the, some of the best teams 
in the history of the game and then going on to win that first Stanley Cup in 1984 uh, was, was magical. It was a dream come true for everybody. Uh, I, I don't like to say which one was better than the other because everyone took a, its own unique journey. Uh, every team had different players on it, different uh, motivations, different inspirations on each one. Um, the second, third, fourth, all the way to the fifth one, uh, you know, we were able to win a Stanley Cup after all the trades and Wayne leaving and uh, only through grit and determination did we win that fifth cup and then obviously coming to New York and doing something that hadn't been done in 54 years. So how could you pick? <laughs> yeah. Who's your, who's your favorite kid is what I basically asked you. It's an unfair question. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You never want to answer, answer that. <laughs> never want to answer it. Uh, again, Mark has been kind enough to join us from Bristol, Connecticut, where he's doing great work with ESPN. Good well, to see actually, I'm in Greenwich right now. Actually, I'm in Greenwich right now, but I do go to Bristol for oh, ESPN. Oh, forgive me. Yeah. Forgive me. But he's yeah, in that no, general no area doing tremendous. It's great to see hockey back <laughs> on ESPN is, is, is the what I meant to say. Uh, no One Wins Alone. That is the book. It is available now. He is one of the greatest hockey players to ever play the game. Six-time Stanley Cup winner, Mark Messier. Mark, we appreciate the time. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh, so great to be on with you. Great seeing you. And say hi to Tammy for me. I will. I will. Take care. Mark Messier says hi, Did Tammy. You? Yeah. To me? <laughs> yeah. Really? Hey, Mark. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey, good to see you. Yep. Good to see you, too. He's won six I'm Stanley so Cups. Hey, he's amazing. I'm so honored. This is amazing. <laughs> All right. Take care. Anyone else you want to say hi <laughs> to? Or are you good, Mark? We're good? Oh, everybody on the set. Everybody. There we go. Hello, everybody. everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> he loves all of you. He loves all of you. Oh, oh, always please in the room, Mark, as usual. Thank you, sir. Take care. Yeah, you got to include everybody. <laughs> that's, that's a great leader. That's a great leader. There you go. The one and only Mark Messier. Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. They all say, okay, now he's got things to do. We